The third episode of Voyager, Parallax, opens by asking a major question about the premise of Star Trek Voyager. How will the Starfleet and Maquis crews integrate to become one crew, one family? From the start, Chakotay has the most mature, diplomatic vision for how to integrate the crews in an equitable way. Give leadership positions to some Maquis crew members, namely, Balana Torres. What you tried to do just now was out of line. In what way? When you decided to call Torres in engineering. We needed an answer right away and I knew she could give us one. Carrie is the senior officer in engineering. If you look at it that way, none of my people will ever have seniority. That's the problem. You're treating the Maquis on this ship like they're still your crew. I'm doing everything I can to integrate them into your crew, but frankly, you're not making it easy for me, Captain. I do consider these my people, because nobody else on this ship will look out for them like I will. And I'm telling you, you're going to have to give them more authority if you want their loyalty. I'm trying to help you. I'm sorry you don't see that. I strongly recommend you get to know Torres before you choose a new chief engineer. And that's who this episode is all about. Why Voyager? Because Torres and her developing relationship with Janeway is why you watch this series. This episode and much of Voyager passes the Bechdel test, which is a measure of how women are represented in a work, whether two women can hold a conversation about anything other than a man. The key moment of this episode, which is the epitome of passing the Bechdel test, is a briefing room scene where Janeway and Torres' minds snap in sync, problem solving the current predicament the crew finds themselves in. How do we get through that sheet of ice? Look for a crack or make a crack. Take something and smack it into the ice until it buckles. Wait a minute, what if you've already made a crack in the ice? When we first entered the event horizon. If we could find our entry point, we might be able to slip out the way we came in. So, we'd be looking for a subspace instability in the event horizon. What would make it show up on our sensors? Warp particles. If we saturate the event horizon with warp particles, we might be able to see them escaping through the rupture we made when we entered. When Janeway and Chakotay share a smiling glance concerning Torres' position as chief engineer, the series embraces a core belief about the human condition, which Star Trek stories tell us again and again, that if given the chance and support, people can grow and become more than what they are. Chakotay saw that Torres could be more than a hot head with a knack for engineering, that she could become a leader. You're going to need support from people like Carrie. I don't need support from anybody. You are if you're going to be chief engineer of this ship. Right. This is not another example of my twisted sense of humor. But Carrie is next in line. You're a better engineer than he is. What other kind of message would you want from television? This is why Voyager. In command school, they taught us to always remember that maneuvering a starship is a very delicate process. But over the years, I've learned that sometimes you just have to punch your way through. Mr. Paris, full impulse power. Sometimes you just have to punch your way through. I'll have to remember that one.